as a business owner who is very much a personality who is someone who likes to start things but not finish things, uh, multitasking is something which just, just never works for me. And but to, be, to be fair, it's something that never works for anybody because it's not possible to do multiple tasks and do them all well at the same time. It's much more uh, successful to just do one thing and focus on that one thing until it is completed, which is, from my, uh, my perspective, is one of the hardest things to do. So I need people around me, I have people around me to make sure and help me that I finish the tasks that I set out when I start them. Um, so multitasking doesn't work because it means that you're highly unlikely to finish um, all of them. It means that you're probably likely to do those tasks um, you know, not as well as you could do if you just focus on one at a time. But also by multitasking, you might be thinking you're going to get more done um, in the long run than you would by doing one thing at a time. Uh, but fundamentally, you're diluting your focus. You are taking um, more energy to do those things than if you were to do one back to back to back because you get into the flow, you get into the zone. Um, so whereby if you're multitasking five things at once, it might take you ages to do all five. If you just say, I'm just gonna focus on this one, um, you just get that one done, off the list, tick. Focus on the next one, get that one done, off the list, tick. Um, if you are trying to have a conversation with someone, you're in a meeting uh, and your WhatsApp is going off, uh, your emails are pinging and uh, if you're trying to, like, like me, I have that urge that I need to answer everything as soon as it comes in. Um, I find it hard to leave it because I just want to get, get it dealt with. Um, then it, it just means you're not focused in any particular way. Whereas um, when you're doing something where you're really, really busy, um, where you have to put your phone to one side, then actually what you notice is that you get a lot more done on what you're focusing on now, but it means that um, you can forget about your emails for Sit, you know, four hours, five hours. And when you come to your emails, you actually, you actually get through them a lot quicker as well. Um, and this happens a lot, especially when I'm, I'm on days where I'm on site, days where I'm working back with clients, um, where I can spend the day focusing on that one thing of, of helping the client, or my clients to be successful, working on their projects, etc. Uh, and then get to the end of the day, then I can just do a batch lot of emails, uh, half an hour, an hour of emails, and they're, they're done. Whereas um, that could have taken hours just on and off throughout the day. So uh, the best thing that I ever found was to turn my emails um, off, so to work offline, which means that you can work on your existing emails and get them all sorted now and no new emails are gonna come in. And then when you are ready to do your, your next batch of, batch of emails, then you can just turn it back on. So those types of business hacks I absolutely love um, because they really help you to become focused and to get you know, a lot more stuff done um, in, your, in your day uh, with the limited time that we've all got. Mm -hmm.